Here's a bit of our history. Back in 2015, we released our very first hub. We delivered a product that encompassed all the features demanded at the time. Jeweler, built-in two-way radio technology with two-kilometer range, two communication channels on board, simultaneous and real-time interaction with the user's mobile apps and monitoring stations. The best industrial design in its class. Back then, Hub has demonstrated what a minimum viable product is. After Hub release, any central panel made by our competitors immediately lost their attraction to customers. Everyone started trying to get near Hub. Many started calling this kind of device Hub, unlike they called it Central Panel before. Some companies began calling their security systems in line with Ajax. But we didn't stop there and started designing something that would be competing with our hub. Designing something that will top it. In 2018, we released Hub Plus. It was supposed to be like the hub's elder brother. We've extended the memory, realizing that there was a growing demand in the feature set, and soon the users will outgrow the limitations of Hub, and we need to start preempting the user's needs. You could see that from the moment we released the scenarios. If a regular hub is capable of running five scenarios, Hub Plus is capable of running 64. Hub Plus has more users, more groups, more cameras. We've also added 3G and Wi-Fi for those users who need more flexible and reliable communication. Hub 2 was released in 2019, no longer an elder brother. It was the second generation device. One of its prominent features that have since become a must-have was photo verification of alarms. Now, whenever the alarm goes off, a picture is taken of the event that triggered it, a feature that saves a lot of money for security companies and lots of nerve cells for their users. Basically, Hub 2 is a basic second generation model. It's a hub, but with an added photo verification. Of course, we couldn't imagine a basic model for 2019 without automation. Hub 2 featured 32 scenarios, which is quite enough to cover the security needs of a private house or a mid-sized office. Today, we're happy to present to you the new norm on the security systems market. Hub 2 Plus. It has all the star features of the previous hubs, jeweler, wings, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, 2G, 3G, alarm photo verification, 64 automation scenarios. The new hub supports more devices than others, up to 200. It also supports more cameras, up to 100. What are the key features of this new product? What is the big idea behind it? Is it just to boost the basic characteristics? Not quite so. Basically, we give you two big ideas. The first idea is that this is so far our most powerful hub in terms of hardware. Its processor is four times more powerful than that of a usual hub. It features eight times more memory. Why did we pack so much power into a simple security system? We did that in order to give you more features. If earlier the main benefits of a security system and the main challenges of developers were in the hardware compliance with standards, the type of optics and wireless transmitter, the type of a bus wiring, a decent power supply, good quality jumper connectors, compliance with EN 150-131, PDE-6662, but now the main challenge is at the software and user experience. What is our user's typical life like in the 21st century? They get in their Tesla car, they use their top-shelf smartphone, 
and their expectations from a security system are shaped by Tesla and iPhone, not by using security standards written 30 years ago. We believe that being a security company can no longer serve as an excuse for being rigidly old-school and conservative. It doesn't work anymore. We need to deliver solutions that people fall in love with. Only then these solutions will stay ahead of the game, being super relevant in the current reality. Otherwise, we will die out and disappear as a market. In order for us to match these expectations, we need to write stellar software. And we need to build powerful hardware to run that software. That's why for this Hub 2 Plus, we pimped up the chipset significantly, to be able to deliver even more cool features and functions to you. The second big idea that we want to give to you with the Hub 2 Plus is the LTE. Why is LTE important? Some may say the GPRS is more than enough to transmit data from a security system. Yes, but there are several caveats. First one, 2G and 3G connectivity has been degrading worldwide. And it's not about the technologies themselves being bad. Plus, you can use 4G if you're too needy. So the owners of alarm systems, which used to work well with 2G or 3G, but suddenly they faced a problem. The problem that their equipment loses connection. It takes a long time to establish connection, and it's not what a good security system should look like. The problem is that the frequencies that the 2G and 3G towers used to employ are now massively moving to work with LTE. The LTE that had been the big new thing just recently has bulldozed everything on its way and has become the most widespread technology with the best coverage, the best access speed, the best stability, which makes it a technology that develops, not degrades. It is important, not only for countries where 2G is nearly dead. The US, Australia, Switzerland. I'm talking about the global picture. LTE support gives the hub a brand new backup quality through mobile connectivity. The second noticeable thing, the addition of 4G does not negate 2G or 3G. Just like your mobile phone, the Hub 2 Plus automatically selects the best suitable network, which expands even more the coverage of your security system, which makes its connection more reliable and itself much more stable and simple to install. So even if there is no 4G available around, but there is 2G instead, the hub will use it, no problem. As soon as a better network becomes available, the hub will switch over to it. Important thing number three. After we added photo verification and automation in our system, we raised the bar in terms of connection speed when communicating to monitoring centers. If earlier a classic security system was actively used a couple of times a day, when you arm the alarm and then disarm the alarm, now that you have an in-house automation system, we're talking about a dozen or even a hundred times more frequent use of the system. The system becomes highly unusable and unwieldy, especially when something is glitching or freezing, when it doesn't connect properly. So after we've added photo verification, we have noticed that the system is now passing a thousand times more data than the regular communication between systems earlier demanded. Which is quite logical. A digital picture contains a thousand times more bits of data than a simple and short signal that arms or disarms the alarm. So with this kind of data throughput, when the data stream contains automation as well as photo verification, LTE provides a significant improvement of user experience. In terms of visual data stream and convenient use of house automation, 
The difference between this and Ethernet or Wi-Fi is virtually non-existent. But as soon as you try to compare it with GPRS, you will feel the difference. So let's sum it up. Broadband connectivity via Ethernet, Wi-Fi, LTE. Several kilometers wide coverage for wireless sensors. Photo verification. Household automation. Plus new features added regularly. All of that is the new norm for the security systems. Get used to expect no less than this feature set from your security systems. Hub2 Plus hits the stores August this year.